Hi students. So to work on some data and to learn about astronomical units and the revolution periods of different um, celestial bodies, we're going to be doing this amazing solar system <laughs> worksheet and I'm going to get you started off. So when you're working on this at home, make sure that you start by reading these different definitions and that they're very clear to you like what what each of those are and then read over this that the astronomical unit is a measurement and understand and really understand that an astronomical unit is the distance from the earth to the sun because they had to start somewhere so that's what they picked um, and then Understand that in 2006, basically the IAU met together and they decided to define what a planet was. And in that definition, Pluto got knocked out of the running because um, Pluto hasn't cleared everything in its neighborhood of debris. So there's still three very large dwarf planets that are now on the list. So here is a list of some planets and dwarf planets. Here is their distance from the sun in astronomical units or AUs. And here's the revolution period. A revolution period is how long it takes that object to go around the sun. So um, for us, we call going around the sun one year and you would maybe look at it as a, a year is like every time you get a summer vacation that's how you get excited about a year maybe you get excited over a year because it's your birthday maybe you look forward to some fun um holidays rolling around like maybe new year's or uh, maybe halloween or fourth of july or something like that that that's how you mark a year that's like something that's important to you well, look at if you lived on Mercury, you'd be celebrating that every point two Earth years, you would get to celebrate those things. So you could basically multiply your age times five, and that's how many birthdays you would have had by now. Um, notice that every point six um, years of Earth years, that's how long it takes Venus to go around. Okay, so you can figure out this. And look, if you lived on on Neptune, you might never get a birthday at all. And Uranus, you might only be one year old by the time you, you die. Um, it's just interesting. Um, here, distance in astronomical units. Mercury is 0.4 of one astronomical unit. So an astronomical unit is how far the Earth is from the sun. So it is 0.4 of that. So it's a little less than half. So cut the distance of the Earth from the sun, cut that in a little less than half, and that's how far Mercury is. And then look at this. For like Pluto, you can times it by 40, and that's how far out Pluto is. Way far out there, and times 50 for Aries. Okay. So once you kind of get a grasp of that, you're gonna keep this page kind of side by side with the next page. And your next page is kind of a little half sheet because I cut off the in-between activity, which was a group activity. So I just cut it off the bottom to not even confuse you. Okay, the first one, you're gonna be working with this data, the AUs, you're gonna be working with this data here. And it has this little um, line to kind of show distance from our little sun over here. So if you follow each of these steps, you will be able to complete this correctly. So use the data to show the distances, label the chart astronomical units. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is um, label this astronomical units, okay? And then you're gonna make a dot Oh, and number them zero to 40. So I already numbered mine zero to 40. And actually it ended at 41. I don't know if they wanted me to start zero here, but this makes sense to me as zero because it's actually touching the sun. So it's zero away from the sun. So I started this as my number one and then I ended at 41. 
okay? Not a problem. And then they want you to make a dot along the line to show the distance of each of the objects. So here it says that the first one, Mercury, is 0.4. So 0.4 is a little less than one. So we're gonna go to one here and about half of one would be 0.5. So we're gonna go a little less than that. So I'm gonna maybe go right here. I'm gonna maybe go right here. And maybe that's the line. And they set out a dot, okay? And then they want you to label it. So I'm gonna write mercury, mercury, okay? All right, and then they want you to do that for the next one. So Venus is 0.7, so 0.7 is maybe right here. And I'm already tight on space, but now I'll go Venus. And guess what? Earth is one astronomical unit, so we're getting very crowded here. Very crowded with dots. And then this is going to be Earth. Okay. Well, after this super crowding right here, things start to get a little more spread out. But you're gonna go and label all of those on there to show how far everything is from each other, okay? Um, and that's, that's the first activity. The second activity, I'm gonna slip this under here, is actually completing the revolutions. So on the revolutions, I already went ahead just to speed things along. And first, you are going to list the planets and the dwarf planets in order along the bottom. So I, I just took the lazy route and I just did Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, and Ceres. So you have to do them all. And then going up this way on each line, you're gonna put in 20, so increments of 20, you're gonna go all the way up and label up to the top in increments of 20. And then it says label the top of the graph. It actually gave you the title of the graph. Oh my goodness, so easy. You're gonna write solar system object because you always, always should label the graph. Okay, now you're basically gonna make a bar graph that shows how long it takes for the object to go around the sun. So I have Mercury here, which is um, 0.2 years. So 0.2 years, oh my goodness, that's gonna be hard. If this starts at 20 and we need to do 0.2, Yikes, that's that's hard to just show 0.2, but I'm gonna make a very thin line. I'm gonna make a super thin line right here, okay, is 0.2. And not much bigger than that is 0.6 with Venus. So just for effect, I'm gonna go up 0.6. I'll make it a tad darker. I'll just push my marker a little bit harder, but still that is generous for 0.6. And then Earth is one year. Okay, we'll just make it a little darker. But again, that's probably too generous for one year if that's split up to 20. But then you're gonna go along and by the time you get to, to um, uh, let's see, what's one that I have on here? 165 for, um, let's do Uranus. So we've got, We've got Ceres, we've got Jupiter, Saturn, okay. And just to show you what Uranus will look like here, we are gonna go all the way up to 84 here. So 84 would be just above this line, so we're, we're getting a little higher, okay? As far as how long it takes to rotate, and each one is gonna get bigger and bigger and bigger. And if you wanted to make a really pretty chart, you could do all of these in different colors. But each of these is gonna go more and more until you get to Aries at the end, which is gonna go you know, nearly to the top, okay? And that's how long it takes to rotate around the sun, called a revolution, okay? 
Um, the last thing is that you're going to use your charts to answer answer some data, okay? So you're gonna do, um, summarize what you noticed about that. Why do you think closer planets go faster than the outer planets? Um, how many kilometers is an astronomical unit? This is actually in your reading at the beginning. However, you could look it up some other way. Why was that number selected? Why is using astronomical units easier than kilometers or miles? Oh my goodness, can you imagine how many kilometers or miles that would be? Why do you think we use astronomical units for measuring distance in planets, but light years to go to other stars? That's a good question. Oh, I need to put this on camera better. Why do we use astronomical units to measure stuff within our little solar system, but going out when we're measuring from stars, which are way further apart, why do we then bump to light years? And then you're gonna use basically this chart to answer some questions. All right, students, that's it. And make sure you save this. And I hope you learn a little bit about distance and astronomical units and in revolution.